Do you want to know how to make a pie chart with an exploded slice on GraphPad Prism? You came to the right place. Hey everyone, welcome back to BioInfo Tips. Today, I'll guide you through creating a pie chart in GraphPad Prism and show you how to explode a slice to emphasize a specific data point. This can be useful for presentations when you need to highlight a particular segment. Let's get started. To start, Open GraphPad Prism. If you're working in a new project, select Create New Project. Or if you're adding to an existing one, open that project. Then go to New Data Table and Graph and choose the column option to set up a basic table for our pie chart. Let's say we're showing the distribution of funding among departments. In the first column, enter your categories like biology, chemistry, physics, and so on. In the next column, enter values as percentages or amounts representing each segment. Here's an example data set. Biology, 35% chemistry, 25% physics, 20% environmental science, 15% and mathematics, 5%. Once your data is entered, go to the graph section and select pie chart. GraphPad will create a pie chart with each segment representing a category. To emphasize one of the slices, we can explode it by pulling it slightly out from the center of the pie. Let's say we want to highlight the biology funding portion. Right-click on the slice you want to explode, select Explode Slice, and adjust it to your desired distance. You can control how far the slice moves out, giving it just enough space to stand out without breaking the overall look of the pie chart. Now let's style the chart. Go to Format Graph to choose colors for each segment, making sure the exploded slice stands out visually. You can adjust colors manually or use one of GraphPad's color schemes. Next, add labels to each slice by selecting Labels under the Format Graph options. Position the labels as needed to make them clear and readable. And there you have it, a customized pie chart with an exploded slice in GraphPad Prism. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more science software tips here on BioInfo Tips. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.